Hello students, I am Dharmesh Kantharya and welcome you, welcomes you in Deepam Gyan Kranti powered by Deepam English Institute. Today, I brought chapter 14, Sources of Energy of Standard 9 Science and Te uh, 10 Science and Technology. Today, in this video, we are going to uh, discuss different 5 questions and answer of this unit. Okay, all the questions are taken from the textbook only students so that it will be helpful to you for your study as well. Before starting the lesson, which questions will be discussed in this video? Uh, we are just talked about it. The first question of today's video will be uh, how has the traditional use of wind and water energy been modified? The second question, what kind of mirror? Either it is convex concave or plain or would be suited for the solar cooker and we have to give the reasons number next two question means third questions what are the limitations of the energy that can be obtained from the oceans okay from the oceans which type of energy we are just get uh, number fourth what is the geothermal energy we have to talk about the geothermal energy and the last question of this video is uh, what are the advantages of nuclear energy these five questions will be discussed in this video before starting our discussing okay i just pray you students if you haven't still subscribe my channel please subscribe it because dipam gyan kranti is a great treasure of knowledge and uh, dipam gyan kranti and dipamjk.com the website of our own uh, will be the great source for the students and all this all the materials for the students will be provided without any cost students we are believing in get knowledge share knowledge and that is why we are praying to you that yeah, we are we have just said it and now it is your turn to share the knowledge for the other students now without wasting time we start the first question of today's video the first question of today's video is that uh, how has the traditional the word is that traditional use of wind and water energy energy been motive modified how we have changed which type of wind energy and water energy for our convenience for our convenience how we have changed it and the answer is that traditionally waterfalls were used as a source of potential energy in the beginning we are just using waterfalls as energy which was converted to electricity with the help of the turbines and with the help of the turbines we are just converting it in electricity since waterfalls are few in number okay because waterfalls are few in numbers and water dams have been construction and that is why we have constructed the water dams in large numbers nowadays hydro dams are used in order to harness the potential energy harness to potential energy just remember this word energy of stored water where we can store the water in water dams water falls from a height on the turbine okay if you have visited the dams okay you can easily understand water falls from a height on the turbine and which produce because the turbine is just revolving and it produces electricity it means traditional thing is modified and now with the help of turbines we are just producing electricity from making the dams in the beginning or earlier the windmills were used to harness wind energy okay windmills were used to harness wind energy to do mechanical work such as lifting and drawing water from a well okay windmills were only used for the lifting and drawing water today but now the thing is changed so that the question is that how we have modified today windmills are used to generate electricity today we are using windmills for making electricity in windmills the kinetic energy okay this word is very important for you while writing an answer 
in the board examination the kinetic energy of wind is harnessed and converted into the electricity the rotatory motion the rotatory motion of the blades turn the turbines okay because of that blades the turbine is uh, uh, just revolving of, of the electric generator to generate the electricity and from which we can get electricity so in this way in the last paragraph you can write like uh, write like that in this way we have modified our traditional uses of wind energy and water energy okay the next question of this video the second question of this video is that what kind of mirror okay what kind of mirror and the trio are given here concave convex or plane would be best suited for the use in a solar cooker which mirror is useful in short and give the reasons okay if you have seen the solar cooker you can easily give the answer the answer is that a solar cooker uses the heat of sunlight okay with the help of sunlight solar cooker cook the food a solar cooker uses heat of sunlight to cook and heat the food a mirror is used in order to reflect okay why the mirror is used to reflect and focus sunlight at a point it is necessary that sunlight should be focused at perfect point to heat to cook the food so that a concave mirror so that a concave mirror is used in a solar cooker it is very easy for this purpose for this purpose a concave mirror is used in a solar cooker the mirror focuses all the incident sunlight at a point and with the help of the concave mirror okay the sunlight is just reflecting at point it is needed the temperature at that point increases the temperature at that point is increased and thereby therefore thereby cooking and heating the food placed at the point and that is why we can easily cook the food and get the heat easily and so that we can say that a concave mirror is very useful for the solar cooker okay the next question of today's video the third question is that what are the limitations we have been asked limitations of the energy that can be obtained from the oceans okay uh, energy we can get from the oceans but there is a limitations which are the limitations we have to talk about them okay the answer is that the forms of energy that can be obtained from the ocean are tidal energy wave energy and ocean thermal energy these three energy one two and three these three energy can be obtained from the ocean there are several limitations but there is limitations in order to harness this energy okay directly we can we can't use this trio means tidal energy wave energy and ocean thermal energy and the limitations are given here number 1 tidal energy depends on the relative posi position of the earth moon and the sun you know that with a uh, while it is a full moon tidal waves are more so tidal energy is depend on the earth moon and sun number next high dams are required to be to be built to convert tidal energy we have to make the dams as well so that the waterfall directly falls on the turbine so that high dams are required to be built number next very strong waves are required to obtain electricity from the wave energy okay waves are wave must be strong and that if the waves are strong it can rotate the blades of the turbine 
सो दैट स्ट्रॉन्ग वेव्स आर रिक्वायर्ड नंबर फोर टू हार्नेस ओसन थर्मल एनर्जी एफिशियंटली डिफरेंस इन द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द सरफेस वाटर एंड द वाटर एट डेफ्ट ओके बोल्ट द टेम्परेचर मस्ट बी डिफरेंट एंड मस्ट बी 200 must be 200 it is not 200 it must be 20 centigrade the difference must be 20 centigrade or more okay it is not 200 it is 20 20 centigrade or more now the question number 4 what is geothermal energy okay the next question of today's video is what is geothermal energy and it is a very different energy because the students doesn't know about all these things geothermal <coughs> power plants use heat of the earth to generate electricity what it needs heat of the earth to generate electricity this heat energy of the earth is known as geothermal energy and this heat is known as the geothermal energy okay it is very simple to understand when there are geological changes the molten rocks present in the core of the earth okay we are talking about the core what is the meaning of the core the center point of the earth it is called the core okay the molten rocks present in the core of the earth are pushed the earth crust and it is just pushed outside this forms of region of the hot spot and that is why the hot spot are created the hot spots are created uh, where the hot spots are created where the molten rocks are get to gathered where they are gathered and this part is known as the hot spot steam is generated and because of this hot spot steam is generated the ground water when the ground water comes into contact when the ground water comes into the contact with this hot spot steam is generated generated with this hot spots forming hot spring and they can just make a hot springs and springs and because of the hot springs the steam is generated this trapped steam is used to generate electricity and this trapped stream is used to generate electricity in the geothermal power unit i think that it this question will be asked in the examination This is the last question of this video. The fifth question of this video is what are the advantages we have been asked about the advantages we have to give the nuclear energy. Today people are talked about nuclear energy, nuclear weapons and that is why you know very well about the nuclear energy what is nuclear energy. Okay? Because the advantages have been asked directly I started the advantages of the nuclear energy are given follows okay number a large amount of energy is produced per unit okay nuclear energy large amount of energy is produced b it does not produce smoke the main thing is that it never produce smoke and so that it is helpful to our nature and environment it is a clean energy it is a clean energy number c fission of one atom of the uranium okay remember this uh, this point because it may be asked in one marks question as well fission of one atom of uranium produces 10 million it means 1 crore 1 million times the energy of released by burning one atom of the carbon okay one atom of the carbon one atom of the carbon produces one energy if we say while uranium is produces from the one atom 10 million so you can see the difference so fission uh, fission of one atom of the uranium produces 10 million times the energy released by the burning of one atom carbon number d fusion of four hydrogen atom produces huge amount of energy approximately 
इक्वल टू 27 मेगावाट ओके 27 मेगावाट ओनली फोर हाइड्रोजन एटम्स कैन प्रोड्यूस अप्रोक्सीमेटली 27 फाइव मेगावाट एंड दिस ऑल दिस थिंग्स आर द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ द न्यूक्लियर एनर्जी स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू लाइक अवर वर्क प्लीज लाइक अवर वीडियो शेयर देम एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब अवर यूट्यूब चैनल डब्ल्यू 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 डीपम जी के डॉट कॉम इज अवर वेबसाइट प्लीज वंस विजिट इट बिकॉज इट इज मेड ओनली फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स हु वॉन्ट्स टू बिकम द ग्रेट इन देयर फ्यूचर एंड वी आर हेल्पिंग डेम ओके डोंट फॉरगेट गेट नॉलेज शेयर नॉलेज फिर से मिलेंगे तब तक के लिए गुड बाय हैव अ नाइस टाइम टू एंजॉय